Are you in the market for a new camera but are totally confused because of so many options? Well then today we will take a look at 5 cameras that are best in their fields. This camera doesn't have the biggest sensor or the most megapixels but when it comes to the actual photographic experience, no other camera performs as good as the Fuji X-T4. The classic design with analog inspired control dials comes with modern features like 5 axis sensor shift stabilization and fully articulating monitor. The X-T4 has quite impressive in body image stabilization. Battery life has nearly doubled. The fully articulating screen is great for video and autofocus performance is as good as Sony. The newly designed shutter is whisper quiet and can fire away at 15 frames per second which honestly is more speed than any Fujifilm photographer was even asking for. The X-T4 does carry over much of the same tech as Fujifilm X-T3 including the 26 megapixel X-Trans sensor, X-Processor 4 image processor and 3.69 million dot electronic viewfinder. The video mode is largely the same as well, offering 4K at up to 60 FPS, but full HD recording can now hit 240 FPS compared to the X-T3's 120fps. So in conclusion, you should buy the X-T4 if you're looking for a high performance, well-rounded camera that won't break your back. Sony's full-frame mirrorless cameras are excellent, but expensive. The Sony A6100 brings some of the feature from the A7 series into a camera that's less than $900, which is including the lens. It still uses the same Sony E-mount as the A7, so you can use all the same lenses if you want to be able to upgrade to a full frame model down the road. The A6100 has a 24 megapixel APS-C sensor which is smaller than full frame, helping the camera keep its low profile. While that does mean low light performance won't match the full frame Sony's, it still delivers excellent results for most situations. You also get the Sony's incredible 425 point hybrid autofocus system. Like the latest A7 models, the A6100 includes Sony's artificial intelligence based real-time tracking and real-time eye autofocus technologies for recognizing and following subjects. Beyond still photography, the A6100 is a strong performer for movies too. It shoots 4K video and gives you a microphone jack if you want to get serious about upping the audio quality. The D780 isn't just Nikon's newest DSLR, it's also the most refined. It replaces incredibly popular D750 from way back in 2014 and uses an updated 24 megapixel sensor. It is Nikon's first DSLR to incorporate on-chip phase detection autofocus, a feature inherited from its mirrorless Z series that gives the D780 responsive performance in live view and video modes. Battery life is another advantage. Optical viewfinders draw very little power. Combined with efficiency improvements, the D780 can work all day with a CIP rating of 2260 shots per charge. I have to imagine only a small group of people actually need that kind of long lasting power but it's a welcome feature for those who do and means you can save money by not having to buy spare batteries. The A7R4 may have been bummed out from the top spot by the Fujifilm X-T4 but it still deserves a spot on the list. Even while it may be overkill for many photographers and situations, a full frame sensor will easily outperform smaller ABS-C sensors like the one on the X-T4 when it comes to low light performance and depth of field control. As the first company to produce a full frame mirrorless camera, Sony remains the leader in this race. But what's surprising is how much Sony managed to cram into a camera with such a compact body. The camera has a 61 megapixel sensor which will provide you high resolution images than any other medium format camera. The sensor also delivers excellent dynamic range, great color and low noise performance at high ISOs. The A7R4 has the performance to match, churning out full resolution bursts at 10 frames per second with autofocus. Sure, the X-T4 is faster but considering the massive bandwidth requirements of the Sony 61 megapixel sensor that's very impressive. 
the seventh generation of Sony's RX100 improves on an already excellent recipe by adding a no blackout viewfinder, faster autofocus and a 3.5mm microphone port. That's mixed in with a list of don't fix what isn't broken features carried over from the RX106. The 20 megapixel 1 inch type sensor has returned although the continuous shooting speed has dropped slightly from 24 frames per second to 20. Additionally, autofocus speed has seen a slight improvement over the 6.2. Being Sony, the RX107 also includes a full complement of video features. It can shoot 4K video at 30fps, 1080p at up to 120fps and super slow motion at 240, 480 and even 960fps at reduced resolutions. Best of all is that none of the RX107's advanced features are thrown in your face. These features are there if you are looking for them, but if you want to sit back and enjoy an easy to use pocket camera then you can do it without hassle.